model but there are obviously going to be some limitations to the model it can't be generalized from um, one of the reasons for that is because it was first put together uh, by a guy who was looking at the city of Chicago so if it's true for, Chif for Chicago then does that mean necessarily that it's going to be true for say Leeds or Sheffield it's not even a city in the same country um, let alone exactly the same city Another thing it doesn't take into consideration is the physical landscape of the city. So if a city is built by the sea, which in fact Chicago actually is sort of built by, by uh, water, then um, it doesn't take that into consideration. If you can see, it's just the concentric circles. So where do rivers go, where do lakes go, where do seas go? They're not part of that model. They don't fit the bill. Um, another thing it doesn't take into consideration is out-of-town shopping centres. There's no sort of consideration for them at all in the model. Um, that's obviously a phenomenon which has come about a bit more recently than the model was made. Um, in addition to that, there's car ownership. Again, this model was uh, put together before car ownership took off. So there's no allowance for roads and motorways and for how different um, car ownership has changed the layout of the city. It doesn't take into consideration gentrification. So where the houses in the city um, sort of in the inner city area with the Victorian terraces, things like that, where people have put lots of money in and made them look really, really nice and pushed the land value up. And then it kind of increases the demand for those houses. People want to live back in the city. That doesn't take into consideration anything to do with the gentrification. Um, there's also the fact that some people may choose to live in the countryside and commute in now that they've got cars, now that there's better transport links, so they can do that. Um, there's no allowance for that in the model and also for commuter villages as well where people perhaps live in a sim like a village uh, on the outskirts of the city and then they do all their shopping and stuff in the city there's no allowances for that um, and then the final thing that it doesn't fit uh, that doesn't fit the model is council estates in the suburbs so uh, what the government in the UK has done is they've kind of said you know there's too many council estates in the city centre they look really really bad people don't want to live there People need uh, gardens, they need a bit more space, so they've put them in the outskirts. So perhaps you've got the um, the lower sort of professions and uh, people moving out who don't have as much money as the other people in the suburbs, so they don't fit the bill as well.